Surrendering your will to the will of God is the ultimate holiness. How do you know their will of God? Here comes role of discernment in the life of a person. Sometimes the will of God is known through a slow process. A girl of 15, impelled by the love of Christ joins the Carmel. However, she soon realizes her calling is in the wider workaday world. Her love of Christ impels her to go among those who are most in need. She is Magdalena of Canossa, Virgin, foundress of the Canossian family of daughters and sons of charity. Born in Verona on 1 March 1774, of a noble and wealthy family, she was the third of six children. Drawn by the love of God, at the age of 17 she planned to consecrate her life to God at a Carmel. However, the Holy Spirit urged her to dedicate herself exclusively to those in greatest need. Moved by that love, Magdalene responded to the cry of the poor, hungry for food, instruction, understanding and the word of God. She discovered them in the suburbs of Verona. Holy Spirit further guided her to the poor in other cities, Venice, Milan, Bergamo, Trent. She with her companions worked in five specific areas. Charity schools, catechism, support given to women patients in hospital, residential seminars and spiritual exercises for ladies of the nobility. She founded two religious congregations, the Daughters of Charity with 4,000 sisters and the Sons of Charity, with 200 men religious. Canusian religious, called to a missionary vocation, Adgentis, make themselves receptive to those basic Christian values, the seeds of the word, present in every culture. The charism which the Holy Spirit brought to life in Magdalene did not exhaust itself in the vitality of the two institutes. Various groups of lay people have found in Magdalene and in her ideals, their special way of living the faith, of witnessing charity, in all walks of Christian life.